Hey there folks, got a battle for you today against the Fat Panda of Smogon. It's an OU battle and my opponent is running what looks to be a typical rain team. He's got a Jirachi, he's got a Rotom wash form, no tornadoes, which is good for me. I, tornadoes is a huge, huge threat. Anyway, my opponent is going to lead off with Politoed. Uh, great for me as I lead off with my Whimsicott, my taunting Whimsicott named Jufro, who I absolutely love. It's such a great Pokemon. Anyway, he goes ahead and switches out. I was just, I mean, I wanted to see what kind of set he was running. Um, didn't think it was worth it to taunt. So I went for the stun score on the switch, hit his Terrakion, that is great. I'm guessing that his um, Politoed is not an offensive set, not running uh, Ice Beam perhaps. So that's going to be good considering I've got a Dragon and actually two Pokemon who are weak to uh, Ice types on my team. Or three Pokemon who are weak to Ice on my team. Anyway, he goes for the uh, x Scissor here, but I've got a Focus Sash. This is an Endeavor set after all. He's going to go ahead and withdraw, go out into his Salamence as I go for the Giga Drain. I was just doing it for, to get the KO. I mean, there was no reason to do Endeavor or anything like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and let him kill me. I really should have gone for the Stun Spore. Not exactly sure why I didn't. I think I went for the Endeavor. Um, but yeah, that was silly. Anyway, I think actually, based on the fact that he outspeeds me, I know that he's Scarf. So I know that he, well, I mean, he's locked in because it's Outrage also. Peanut can take at least one Outrage. I go ahead and go for the Ice Shard. Not sure if that's going to KO. I guess it depends on his set. It does KO, not even a crit or anything. And like a broom is not going to get to sweep. Get it? Ah, anyway, um, Moonduck, his uh, Cresselia is now out. It's going to go for the Hidden Power. Uh, I have... Sturdy. Uh, it wasn't actually the hidden power he wanted anyway, it looks like. I get out my rocks. That is great for me. Uh, so now I'm going to just want to switch out. No reason to stay in. Uh, go ahead, gonna go ahead and go into my Jirachi, thinking I can probably wall this guy depending on what hidden power he's running. I mean, if it's hidden power ground, I'm not gonna like that. If it's hidden power fire, he's stupid because it's raining. Um, but yeah, Jirachi's gonna go ahead and go for the combine. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking that Moonduck really can't do anything against me. Now again, I can't do too much against him. But uh, I can get myself up to uh, you know a calm mind level where I actually can with Thunderbolt and whatnot. He's actually going to go ahead and switch out here into his Jirachi. I just keep on going for the calm mind. Now he did get me paralyzed, but I'm not really overly concerned about that. I mean, it could be a problem, but I'm just not foreseeing it as a problem. Uh, his hard body goes for a trick, so you know he's thinking he's going to lock me into calm mind. Uh, a, he's a choice card set. Unfortunately, I decided, eh, what the hell, I've got enough boost. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. And holy crap, that is going to be an easy two-hit KO for this guy. Now, he might get some Iron Head flinch hacks. Um, I mean, he's a Scarf set. Obviously, he's running Iron Head. But he actually doesn't. Now, that's a bit of hacks on my end because the chances of Iron Head flinching are above 50%, and especially considering I'm paralyzed. Yeah, so that was a bit of hacks for me. That's great for me, though. Uh, now, he's, his clothes, his... Uh, Rotom Washform is going to go for the Hydro Pump, even though I'm at plus two. I was actually expecting that to do a lot less. Even though I'm at plus two special defense, max HP, um, that is still going to do a lot of damage considering the rain is up. I'm wondering actually whether he specs based on that damage. I'll put up the calc in the, disc in the uh, annotations. Anyway, going to send out Puff, my Magic Dragonite here. He's going to go for the Hydro Pump. Just tells me that he's not. He's running max speed. Uh, I mean, he's going to outspeed no matter what unless he was running some kind of bulky set, which obviously he's not running. Uh, so anyway, I go ahead and go for the Dragon Dance. Not sure if I'm going to be able to outspeed, depending on whether he's Scarfed or not. If he was Scarfed and running max, max speed, I probably couldn't have. Anyway, I go for the Extreme Speed just to get the KO. His Moonduck comes out, and I'm thinking, okay, if this guy, is gonna, if this guy carries the Ice Beam, probably going to die this turn, but oh well. Uh, I can do a massive amount of damage with Dragon Claw. I actually get a crit, so another bit of hacks for me, but, uh, you know, I mean, it is Dragon Claw, and I actually should run the couch. Maybe that crit didn't matter. But anyway, Politoed's back out. Gonna go for the Dragon Claw, expecting to die on this turn to an Ice Beam. Uh, I, he actually goes ahead and toxics me, so indeed, it looks like he doesn't have Ice Beam. Uh, gets me badly poisoned, but doesn't matter. I have Lumberry. I wouldn't have actually minded being uh, badly poisoned because I don't carry Roost, so it's not like I could have gotten my multi-scale back. He goes ahead and goes for the, the Protect just to, I guess, try to get a little bit of more health up with Leftovers. Uh, fine by me, really. He's going to go ahead and withdraw. He's going to go out into his Terrakion. I don't think that guy's going to be... That guy's definitely not going to be able to take a Dragon Claw at that level of health. He's paralyzed, so I don't have to worry about him outspeeding me, and that's a dead Terrakion. So great for me. Now out is going to come this Rotom. Uh, I don't know whether he's Scarfed, and I'm never going to find out, because I'm just going to go ahead and Extreme Speed for the KO. Great for me. 
down goes that Rotom, and I am a happy camper. His last Pokemon is this Politoed. At that range of health, he's probably going to try to stall me out with Protect. Indeed, he does. But all that does is you know, use up a turn that would have otherwise... I mean, there's no way that I'm not going to kill with Dragon Claw. He can just keep going for the Protects if he wants to, and he, indeed he does. I mean, no need to resign if you don't want to resign. I go ahead and KO, and that is a dead Politoed, and I have won the match. Uh, body bag 5-0. So long, folks. Oh, sorry, 4-0, not a body bag. Wah. Bye.